In 1992, USS Baton Rouge collided with the Russian submarine K-276 Kostroma, after which America assured Russia that it would reduce spying in Russian waters, a lie that unfolded the following year. On March 20, 1993, K-407 Novomoskovsk was on a training cruise in the Barents Sea and was completely oblivious that an American submarine USS Grayling SSN-646 was trailing seven miles behind it. At about 12.15 a.m., K-407 began to head back to the port, that's when U.S. sub lost sonar contact with the Russian sub. Captain of USS Grayling sped up the submarine in an attempt to close the gap and reacquire sonar contact when he realized that K-407 was just 0.6 miles away and heading straight towards the Grayling. And at 12.46 a.m., K-407 smashed into U.S. submarine, luckily both submarines suffered minor damage, but guess what? If the U.S. sub impacted five seconds later, it would have struck the K-407 along its nuclear missile bay that would have burst the hull and spilled the nukes into the sea.